absolutely adorable little piglets. Hey, look at this, blood parrots. Go free, buddies. What is going on, friends? Welcome back to Holy Blinding. Welcome back to another video. I am going to show you the piglets here in just a second because I know that's what all you guys want to see. I mean, come on, we just had baby piglets last video. Just took out all the dirty hay from the pregnancy and replaced with fresh hay last night. By the way, these little fellas are actually so grown up already. It's mind blowing. These are two day old piglets. And look at this. They just, they don't even care. They just run around. That's our male right there. That's our only male. The darkest one looks just like Bubba. But look at this. Absolutely adorable little piglets. And uh, we have a total of four of them. I don't know if you, if you haven't seen the video yesterday, like, why? You got to check out last video. We had all these little, listen to them. All these little tiny, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, little piglets uh, at the house while it was fun. Mama's doing great though. For all you guys that were wondering, Lulu is doing amazing. She goes out to the bathroom, comes back in, and she loves being in here with her babies because she comes straight to the gate and waits for me to open it. She's laying down for them to come watch. Ready? Hey, hey little guy, you're missing out. You're missing out on the milk. I actually thought she had more than four babies. I think all a lot of us did. Um, but when they came out, they were so much bigger than I thought. I thought they were gonna be like a hamster. These things are probably like a guinea pig. See, I mean, they're pretty big babies. There was four of them in that stomach. Anyway, today's plans are we have an automatic water change going in to where I could just literally twist a valve and all my tanks, my fish tanks inside and my ponds outside will be automatically filled with fresh water instead of having to siphon it out and put new water. It's a lot less work with just two valves. That's going down first and then after that we're gonna actually head to predatory. So first, let me show you the plumbing that Rodrigo did for me right now. All the plumbing to do automatic water changes in the backyard. Look at this. Oh Here yeah. Go. Dude, this is why we need it. See how green it gets? And I'm literally doing one as we speak. Look at this. See? Oh, marijuana. But dude. You already know what's gonna happen, right? Right? This is it. Run a pipe like that. Easily could just go dink. It'll drain the water and then dink. It'll fill the water. Super, yeah, super easy. To touch it. Bro, this one is done. Here you go. Already. Just like that. You sure you want me to do this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang, pristine, pristine. So now, look, we're just missing, we're missing like 13 <laughs> inches right there. Oh God. So that's the drain, so we can slow the drain down. And then this is where the water's coming in. Yo, straight up automatic water changes now. I never touch it, I, skirt, skirt. Two simple twists, knuckles. Done. Rod, you're the bomb, dude. Oh so my god. Now you goodness. know what you gotta do after this, right? What do you have to do? The flatten those have to come in. Yes, dude. You're I need to I need to get these community fish and do something else with them. You already have the filtration done. I need, I need the predatory fins mini show tank. There you go. So you've got the big one, the twelve thousand gallon. I need the one hundred and sixty gallon mini one. Um, yeah, so eventually I think we're gonna take these community fish out since they are getting pretty big and do something else with them. I'm probably gonna get another big fish tank soon uh, and then do some predatory fishing here, like my platinum red tails, maybe some that. clown knives, albino um, marijuana. Albino marijuana that I promised I was gonna get. I still have that to get it. I got more color. I got more color. So, uh, whatever, we're gonna, we're gonna figure out something to do. It's gonna be awesome. Super easy, automatic water changes now with just a twist of a valve. And if you That's wanna it. learn more how to do that, Hey, gonna he's gonna be making a lot of videos on this, so make sure to go check out his channel. It's linked in the description. We did a video way more filming. I barely filmed it. The whole entire thing you pretty much filmed was how to do this through the wall and everything. I mean, we literally drilled through the wall. So if you want to check it out and learn how to do this, how much was this? Probably 60 bucks? Total? Yeah. Yeah, about 50, 60 bucks. Yeah, 60 bucks. You can do this at your own house. So just check out the link in the description. Go to his channel. And you can see it go down there and learn for yourself. Now that you have seen that, we are going to head over to Predatory Fins to get what you clicked on this video most likely for the title and thumbnail, or you just clicked on it to see the pigs. One of the two. But hey, we're going to Predatory Fins to get some parrot fish for a coffee table fish tank that is out there. Right here. We got some fish for this, and uh, 
I'm excited. Here we go. On over to Predatory here. As you can see, the sturgeons from last time we were just here. We got a little Larry the turtle. Also big diamond sturgeons right here. We picked these guys up all the way up north. Look at this filtration. Unreal. Hey, look at this tank. Never gets old. Never gets old. Massive platinum. Um, That's all it takes. Just a little wet with the hand. Big old peacock back there. I love this tank. I can't get enough of it. Look how big it is. We gotta do something like this in the future. Bunch of little peacocks here. And this right here. Love these little kissing grommies. I love this tank. How big it is, perfect. I want one of these. I want that exact size tank in the in uh, my guest room. Hey, look at this. Blood parrots. This is what today's video is actually on. These little fellas right here. We're getting a bunch of blood parrots for our coffee table fish tank. They're like running all over each other. Meanwhile, they got all this tank room, but they just think I'm feeding them. I'm probably gonna go with like a half a dozen. You can always get some more in the future, but they're gonna grow, of course, and I think a half a dozen is like the perfect amount. predatory fins of course with Rodrigo here. Um, we're getting I think six. We're gonna do six parrotfish. Rodrigo's gonna bag them up for us. We got a black arowana up there. As you can see a beautiful clown knife fish right there. And what in the heck is that? An orange gar. Well it's kind of orange. It's somewhat orange. It's a little bit of black but it looks like some Florida gar. It's got a little orange on them. Down here we got an albino lungfish. Another clown knife and some sort of wells, Chinese wells or something like there. I like you. I want you right there. Oh, I've got a bowl. Two fishies right here. There's two. I'm just trying to go for the bigger one. Eight pair of fish. I was gonna take like some yellows and some oranges, but he just said, hey, take all the oranges. So that's what I did, just took all the orange ones. All right, now this is the little strategy that you have to do every time you bag a fish. Put some oxygen in there, you know, so they live. Yo, fresh. I think I got plants for the house. It came with plants, actually. The coffee table fish thing came with some plants. All right, so we should be set. Parrotfish, Rodrigo, predatory fins. Hey, by the way, July 21st, Monster Fish Bash 2019. As you know, 2018 was wild. 2019 should be even cooler. We got a ton of people that are gonna be there. You can check out the link in the description. Copper tickets. Should they cop their tickets? Mustafishbash.com. Lid Move, comes pig. off. Move, pig. <laughs> Boom. Just like that. Off. And now we got an open tank. We obviously gotta fill it up a little bit. Water has dropped since uh, we've done this. All right. Got a little piece of wood here. We're actually just gonna put that right dead center. Perfect. Just like that. This plant's a little weird. All right, and now the parrot fish. Slide them out, put them right in. Here we go. All right, acclimate, my friends. So this water is like room temperature, super cold, so I just added a heater in there, as you can see, and I ran all the wires, as you can see right here, straight down and under this carpet, and then they plug in over there. So now it's real neat, it looks nice. And now we're about to get some orange fish, and the reason why I picked parrot fish is because the blue gravel, as you can see, blue gravel, it just makes the orange like pop. So we got, I don't know, a half a dozen parrotfish here and uh, I'm stoked to get them in. A lot of times you sit here and nothing's going on. Now look at the orange fish. You see what I mean? You can see them from right here. Just boom, pops. Okay, it has been about like 30, 45 minutes. It's been a long time. I let the water kind of heat up with that heater. It's much, much warmer now. And everyone's gone. I had three of my friends here. Everyone's gone. They all left. They all went home. It's very, very late on a weekday. So what we're going to do is pretty much just pop the bag open. What I usually do, pop the bag open and put these fish through. This net will catch them. The water will go into the bucket. And all you got is the fish in here, which will then I will pour into there. Now when it comes to quarantining fish like this into my aquariums, I have enough trust in predatory fins that I believe all the water he has is fish in is completely safe, nothing's wrong with these fish, and uh, I've actually never quarantined a fish from predatory just because he does so beforehand, and I trust him. All my fish, completely fine from his place. He's a dope dude, and he has a dope store with dope fish. This is gonna be dope. All right, self-filming, so I'm gonna set you up. 
I'm balancing you guys on a fish tank. Go free, buddies. <laughs> oh my god, it looks so sick. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Look at that. Now I asked you guys in the video where we bought this coffee table fish tank and set it all up, what kind of fish should I get for this? I saw a couple parrotfish ones, um, but a lot of goldfish ones. And I figured, I've actually never owned a parrotfish myself. I've always wanted one, so why not that be the fish I buy? And from above, they honestly look like goldfish. Like, from a far distance, anyone that doesn't know fish too well, they're gonna be like, oh, you got orange goldfish in there. But just look at that. I mean, that is beautiful. Big old tank in a coffee table with uh, some parrotfish in it. I actually believe this is like 35 gallons. I could be wrong, I believe it's like 35 gallons though. Now I gotta put this back on alone, so, okay. Put this back on the table. Also put, uh, put the coaster, remote, and now we're looking like an OG coffee table fish tank. Oh, not quite yet, one sec, let me actually. Oh yeah, now we're looking good. Looking good. That is all I've got for today's video. I'm actually editing it right here while big old, let me show you out the window. Oh, they are filling the yard. You know what that means. Oh, lens is dirty. Barn is coming. Barn coming means animals are coming. Goats, pigs are gonna go outside. Oh, there's so much content to come. If you haven't done this already, join the family. Hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free. After you hit the subscribe button, you click the bell right to the right of it, and you'll be notified every time I do upload. There you go. Mama is just still milking away. By the way, have not named the piglets yet. I told y'all to comment uh, names for the piglets, or at least the one or two, maybe three. I don't know how many I'm keeping. I'm definitely giving one to my friend Sarah Arrington. Dear mom, but I told y'all to comment, and there was over like 8,000 comments on naming the pigs. It's absolutely mind blowing, so I'm gonna have to go through and take a long scroll down there to find good names, but so far I've seen some good ones. Today's positive comment shout out is a big one, one of my biggest I think. It is by Jewel Hansen saying, hey Paul, I babysit three boys ages one, four, and eight, Monday through Friday, and we watch your videos every day they come out. I just wanted to thank you for being such a great role model, not only to the two boys I babysit, who understand what you're doing, lol, but to everyone else who watches your videos. Thanks for being great, keep on doing amazing work. P.S. They would love a positive comment.